The salmonella outbreak involving peanut and peanut butter products has forced food banks in the Chicago area to toss out hundreds of pounds of donated goods. Two Illinois lawmakers are calling for changes to try to prevent future outbreaks and better protect the food supply. Here's ABC 7's Teresa Gutierrez. Congressman Peter Roskam and Mark Kirk recently reintroduced legislation to secure our nation's food system. This comes on the heels of the salmonella outbreak surrounding the distribution of contaminated peanut butter, resulting in the deaths of nine people and sickening more than 600. Under this legislation, we're saying that if there is any adverse information that comes forward, that has to be disclosed. And you're not able to simply lay back in case you get a more favorable piece of testing results, but that you've got a duty to move forward. Congressman Peter Roskam says his proposed legislation will close a dangerous loophole which allows suppliers to shop around for a lab willing to give it favorable results. To provide protection for whistleblowers in the industry, enhance penalties for violators, and impose stricter safety standards to ensure a safe food supply. There are reports the Peanut Corporation of America, the source of the recent outbreak, actually found salmonella contamination on 12 occasions and still sold the products after hoping for a favorable test result. If it was just up to me, we would uh, sit him down at the table and make him eat his own <laughs> peanut butter. Uh, but it's not up to me, and that's why the Roskam bill is necessary. The Greater Chicago Food Depository has had to recall over 500 pounds of food containing peanuts or peanut products. Most of that food has already been destroyed or will be destroyed. For the Food Depository, thankfully, there hasn't been a great effect, but it has been an inconvenience. At the Greater Chicago Food Depository, workers spend a good part of their day sorting through food for recalled items, items that contain peanuts or peanut products. A number of the items are found and placed in boxes ready to be discarded. Most of that food will be destroyed. Now, there was some food that came in from a manufacturer that we've identified, and that will be sent back to the uh, company for a credit. Teresa Gutierrez, ABC 7 News. The Greater Chicago Food Depository is asking for food donations, but in light of the salmonella outbreak, asking people to be very careful about what they donate.